Okay. I bring the fury of the elements. We are fighting, it looks like, a demon hunter. I am having a lot of fun with Asteroid Shaman. If you're just looking to have fun and use an OTK deck, um, I can highly recommend this deck. There are some cards that you can replace, yet there are other cards which would be mandatory core cards in an asteroid deck. Getting shutter block, such a big, big deal. <laughs> How good is the deck? It's average. And and if you're just looking to have fun, average is fine. You could win five, six, seven games out of every ten. Hey, everybody. Could I please ask you a favor? If you don't mind, scroll down below. Click our subscribe button because we could really use your help. Thank you very much. I am constantly making changes to the deck. Not the core cards, but like the other four to six cards you can goof around with and maybe make some changes according to your play style. I'll share a incredible... <coughs> uh, devious story with you about what the demons do sometimes in my condo. Um, it's a little bit gross, <laughs> but in fact, I'm going to watch my language. But a demon is grabbing a large, Double nasty up. insect and he puts it somewhere located in my condo where I'm going to find it. And this has happened to me multiple times now. You want to get Hagatha out as early as you can. You don't have to play your shutter block if you don't have one of the cards in your hand that you want to use. Right now, I mean, you could shutter block Frosty. It's not bad, but you really want to focus on shutter blocking an asteroid type card or especially Incendius. Incendius is the number one target to shutter block. And then number two, in my opinion, possibly one of the Bolides, the four mana card that... sends three asteroids into your deck and upgrades their power. So I remember the first time it happened, I'm walking into my bathroom and there's a huge dead insect right there in the middle. And... Maybe some of you are thinking, well, Garrett, the insect just got there by itself and then it just dropped dead. I'm not making fun of you. I, I was thinking the same thing. Like, how did he get there? And I looked up at the ceiling. I looked up at the vents in my bathroom. I looked around like, how did he get there? I don't really have a good play here. I could have played Frosty and put down two taunts, but I, I don't have a good play here. Usually I triangulate asteroids. Once in a while I do Meteor Storm, and if you're wondering why, because I'm expecting board clear. And it puts five asteroids into your hand. I'm sorry, into your deck. Sorry, I was looking at the demon portal. So, 
A few weeks later, I'm by myself. And there's a second gigantic dead insect at the front of our living room inside the condo. And any problem. Like, how did he get in? He's big. Like, how could he get in? Why does he drop dead? What's going on here? And I believe Jesus started whispering to my heart that a demon is doing this. Let's see what happens. I'm checking to see who can we shutter block, and I don't have anything. You can shutter block Zilliax, but uh, like only if you're losing and you need health really badly. And right there is why Golgonov is not that great in the deck. Because you have no overload cards. I wouldn't replace him. Because he discounts a spell by three mana every turn. Number two. When you play Golgoneth, it forces your enemy to use hard removal to get rid of him. And that's good. Now, if you're thinking, well, Garrett, why did you just shutter block Zilliax? Because I don't have a play. Look at my hand. I don't have any play. Uh, yeah. Not... This is only a difficult match because my cards came out in such a weird order. What to do? Look at my deck over to the right. You see all those cards in the middle? I need those. I think um witness true arcane magic. So I have to play a spell if I want to activate him. I don't have a good play. So he's back to full health. In a worst case scenario, shutter block that card right there and get nine asteroids into the deck. Let's see what removal he's going to use. His expanse isn't ready yet, so I don't expect that. So now, a month later, I'm going upstairs. I hit the bathroom <laughs> upstairs. There, I, I'm going to watch my language, but... but there's a gigantic insect right in the middle of the bathroom dead. And this time, it was so weird. I thought this was a joke. I thought, I thought maybe it was a toy. It, it was so black and, and so shiny and so big. I was thinking, I was literally thinking that this is a toy. And I went down to look at it and it was real. And I had to man up and grab some toilet paper and grab him and throw him away, which was really disgusting. And now, hold on, let's take a look at how we want to do this. Okay, so our ceaseless expanse is not ready yet. The meteor storm does six damage. So basically, this is going to be a little brutal. 
We got 10 mana. I really need 11. But we only have 10. Hmm. I could do 10 damage. How enigmatic. There we go. That really helped. Yeah, I misplayed. Yeah, I just... I didn't play right, so... Anyway, learn from my mistakes. All I had to do was use the magma... One more time, and then... And then I could have saved one of my cards, but <clears throat> got a little confused there. So as we're getting closer to this match ending, <clears throat> in our master bedroom, I have this beautiful rug, and I like to, I, I go down there on my hands and my knees and I, I worship God and I work on humbling myself and I've been doing that for years now I do that five days a week I like to walk around my condo while I pray I like to go from room to room just walking around what do we want to do asteroids or another meteor storm alright let's get rid of them He's going to have to remove that or it's going to be game over soon. So I go down to the carpet to pray today and to worship on my knees. You know, working on humbling myself on my knees on the ground. And a demon put a huge nail there right where I normally put my knees. And it's only the grace of God that I saw it. I, I, normally I shouldn't have seen it. But the Lord pointed it out and I saw it. And Is this I just want you to know, um, if you're a chosen one of God, God has been blessing you your whole life, protecting you your whole life pointing things out, stopping Satan's plans, denying him access to you, thwarting his strategies to destroy your life. And I just praise God. He helped me to see the gigantic nail. So I got to be more on guard in my condo because the Lord Jesus is having the demons put some crazy things in the condo and now it's went from huge insects that are dead to gigantic nails where I'm about to get down on the floor so there we go how's he gonna remove it this time having a lot of fun with asteroids I also want to play some really cool warrior decks and a lot of fun mage decks too. So stay on guard when you're at home and at work because we don't know what the Lord Jesus is going to have us go through. And wow, can he surprise us. There we go. Praise God. That was a fun game and a very hard game because of the bad card draw.